RoboHelp 11 has considerable support for dynamic HTML. And we're going to see a good example of that today with both text and graphics. We're working with a topic in front of us about equal opportunities. Let's take a quick preview of what this would physically look like if we were to publish out to HTML. First thing that you can see is that we have a rather crowded screen with three screen captures. Uh, they could be horizontally or vertically, but you can see that they take up quite a bit of room. And our first goal is going to be that we want to take the first screen capture capture and have it disappear but drop down if we click on this first bullet item. We want to have the second uh, screen capture appear if we click on this bullet item and we want the third screen capture <clears throat> to be invisible unless we click on the third bullet. So let's go ahead and see how easy that is to do. Um, what I'm going to do is <clears throat> one at a time I'm going to put each of these screen captures onto the clipboard so I can actually paste it in where I'd like it to occur with DHTML. First I'm going to cut the first screen capture. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and select the text where I'd like to have a drop down menu and I simply go to DHTML create drop down hotspot or text. By default you actually have some text in here which I'm going to get rid of and I'm simply going to paste in that first screen capture that we did a moment ago. As soon as I do that you'll see that it looks kind of like hyperlink and uh, a little tooltip tells me that it's drop down text. Okay, Now what I'm going to do is to go ahead and cut the second screen capture and go ahead and select the bullet item where I'd like it to appear. We're going to do the exact same step two more times. We're going to go ahead and put in the drop down text menu, paste in a different screen capture, voila, it has become hyperlinked. Finally I'm going to cut the third um, screen capture. Once again after I've selected the text, the HTML, create drop down hot text, and this time we just paste it in place. We did the same thing exactly three times. Okay, now that we've done that, you can see it looks quite different. It's not as crowded as it used to be. You know, it's uh, certainly simpler. So let's go ahead and save this and do our preview to see how different it looks. So I'm going to do a preview before I generate. And you can see it's much cleaner now. And you also can see how appropriate this would be perhaps for a tablet or a mobile device because I can simply click on each bullet item and here's the quiz menu. Click, here's the audio menu. So this is one way that you can really reduce real estate and make it much simpler for your users. Final thing also is naturally this can be used for text. In fact, it actually could be used for text and graphics. So let's go ahead and add uh, one more item in here. And uh, perhaps we want to have something here about what the company policy is. So I'm going to just go ahead and copy some text that I see in front of me. And I'm going to add one more bullet. And this time I'm going to say click here to see uh, company policy. Okay, and this might be a place where you want to have uh, what we would think of as supplementary text. So once again we use the exact same menu I did before. The difference is instead of pasting in um, graphics, we're simply pasting in text. So I'm going to go ahead and click out of there. You can see that the behavior is the same. It looks like a hyperlink, which it is. And this time we'll go ahead and move on down here and you'll see that our third bullet still gives us a graphic, but the fourth bullet that I created actually gives us drop down text, which basically gives you a progressive disclosure of the information you want to share with your user. This is drop down menus through DHTML with RoboHelp 11, one more way that you can make your projects easier and friendlier for your users to use.